Basha, how you doing, Basha? I'm fine. I'm so excited to be here with you. It's been many years since we've joined each other. Um, I know I told my audience and I showed them pictures that we used to be together in the 90s, in the early 90s. But we're here now. It's 2014, and and we're here at the Brooklyn Christian Center. So what you want to tell us um, what brought you? I know it's Women's History Month, and what your thoughts were about the mission of Dr. Monica Sanchez. Well, well, it is Women's History Month, and this is celebrate. Um, women in particular who who've had an amazing impact on the communities and the work of service in, and work in the name of service. And it's to celebrate them, especially the contributions that they make, but also to bring people together at a point in time. This is certainly the end of the month. There's been a full month of activities uh, that uh, have, have celebrated women. And this is an opportunity to end the month with the with the uh, the Miss Caracom, mm. uh, the Miss Caracom pageant, uh, certainly in mind as well. Absolutely. As a matter of fact, you know, I'm on Facebook and I always post. I was posting the pictures on Facebook, uh -huh. and we have one of the great Harriet Tubman, okay, uh -huh. that I posted. Um, you know, so right now we're going through a critical time with so many African American men and and women incarcerated and children. Uh -huh. So Women's History Month, and I'm just so pleased to be an honoree, and I want to thank you for honoring me today for Women's History Month. Well, it's, it's the Power of Dream Award. It's, it's the power that we have in ourselves to think beyond what we, what our immediate situation, and think, think uh, on a much higher level. And so uh, women do that all the time. They do it on a, <laughs> on a daily basis, whether they're raising families or whether they, they're solidifying communities they do they're doing that on a bit daily basis and the power of those dreams that just moved us forward the world is a world a world where we could talk about a number of other things and since and and what's what is bad in the world and what what we but the things that we're going to have to overcome we're going to have to go through another kind of reimagining of our lives and what we do and how we can be build beloved communities and women are at the center have always been at the center of building beloved communities and communities of service and communities in which we, we strengthen strengthen all aspects of of, uh, of of what it means to for us to to aspire and achieve and if, if my memory serves me right i re remember you talking about your um ancestors your grandmother your grandfather in Georgia was it in Georgia? Yes, my Georgia, my I um, was very close to my grandparents, yes. and they, they both they both lived to be ninety nine. I think when we first met, they both were still alive at that time, and and certainly they've had an enormous influence on me. You know, just the kind of the simplicity in which they were able to conduct their lives and contribute to the efforts of the community, you know, in, in sustaining the community in, in the small ways, whether it's through the church and through other, other public forums and everything else. That this is what, in, in a moment, of, in a period of great change, too, in this country. So they were doing this in the midst of enormous changes that, that, that were unimaginable for them as, as children and young people when they, when they grew up, you know. The changes which which desegregated and changed their lives and everything else, you know, and and I think I think that inspiration has been a major inspiration for me, and in learning enhancing. Let's give him, let's give him. Yeah, we're so honored to have him with us, Mr. Donnie. Well, we just put our hands together for him again. Providing jobs and services and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Healthcare, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. They're all around, they're all around the issue of justice. Uh, we're right here at the Brooklyn Christian Center. We're um, uh, organizing a coalition because um, we just elected a new um, mayor here in this town of New York. And um, there's uh, the 12 appointees of commissioners, none of them were of African descent. We thought that we should see a very diversified um, 
you know, uh, appointments. And, there, you know, out of all the 12 agencies, there were all, um, you know, a Caucasian people. We have nothing against Caucasian because we love all people. But we wanted to see it representative of all people because New York alone has $333 billion. And they raised, the, you know, they were in charge of the budget. So we do have a coalition here. And like you said, it's for justice for all. We just don't want one group to have it all and another group doesn't have anything. Do you understand? Well, I know, um, I've always looked at you when you were um, on television in Africa with Nelson Mandela. We just lost him recently. Yeah. Everyone knows you from the lethal weapon. <laughs> the lethal weapon. One, two, three, four, and so much more to come. We're looking no for. Oh no, One, no, two, three, no. no, no, no. Okay, well maybe not. Le not lethal weapon, but we are looking for um, the other projects that you might be working on or have your hands on. And Miss Caracom is one of the ones that has been so instrumental. That's why we're here today for Dr. Monica Sanchez, because she's put together this wonderful pageant for the women and to empower women and to enhance what they're already doing. Well, you know, Monica Sanchez, Dr. Sanchez is a, a fascinating, absolutely wonderful, energetic woman who is always trying to provide, do something within the community. She's always bringing together various parts of the community. She's always doing something and working on behalf of extending relationships in the community and building relationship partnerships in the community. And that's what we have to really, really, really celebrate her for. Absolutely, we need to Dr. absolutely. I am, I'm excited. Yeah. I'm excited and uh, she asked me to join her and partner with her to do more work and I look forward to helping her with the Miss Cara Comp pageant and any other things that we can do as women in media so our voices can be heard. Well, Mr. Glover, it has been absolutely an honor and a pleasure. It's been an honor. Uh, to see you again. <laughs> I'm just so glad and so excited. And all those pictures we took over the years, of, you know, I was here, there. I was following you all over. I was your biggest fan, one of your biggest fans, okay? Yeah, that's and, right. That's the one that was in uh, Star Magazine. Yeah. Ebony, Ebony. No, Encounter. What's that? What's the, that? the Amsterdam News. No, no. We, we, there was one in, what's that? Uh, uh, not Star Magazine, but uh, uh, it's, no. Uh, uh, well, they were all over. One, one of the tabloids. <laughs> <laughs> Saying that I was your wife, right? Because they saw the picture. We looked so intimate together. Well, we're both cancers, so, you know. And I know you had another woman which your wife was a cancer. Which I can take yeah. Who's that? Oh, what's well, okay. 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 Well, okay. 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 Well, listen, you're going to have to stay tuned for that. Okay. Listen, ladies and gentlemen, like we said, this is all happening on behalf of Ms. Ma Dr. Monica Sanchez, and we're so excited she pulled this fabulous program together. I want you to look forward to the pageant that's coming up soon and we're going to give that information to you so mr glover thank you for coming right. here today and thank right. you for supporting miss kara cop with the, the exciting um pageant all right yes, thank yes, you so yes, much yes. gentlemen we'll be right back with more highlights of this day okay
Maggie Ira, all the way from New Jersey, and American Heritage Foundation. Congratulations, crossing the bridge and coming over here, doing some wonderful things with, 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 with the community, with the kids. Congratulations, Lady Ira Lewis, doing some wonderful things with kids in New Jersey and American Heritage Foundation. Don't worry, we're going to get some pictures here from these photographers. We will get one. <laughs> we're trying to get all the women. I know it's Women History Month that we're doing the women, but we got a few men who are much deserving, just as the women are here. We have Lady Simone Lord just stepped in, in the house. Congratulations. And you're next. <laughs> Lady Simone Lord, who is also an author, doing a lot of wonderful things, not for profit stuff in Queens, New York. Congratulations, Lady Simone. Oh my goodness. 